Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're at the Small Curzy Laundromat. It's Fun Car Friday. I've got the Countach out. We're going to check sales and see if it did better than last week because last week was absolutely horrible. We also had the good laundromat repair guys come. Things are looking better there, and they had some new ideas for stuff. If you're wondering what that is, that's for my camera. So I love to shoot videos of my cars. I have Mark's House of Cars channel you can check out. And so I pop that camera on, video my car driving here, and then I pop it off put on a weird chest strap thing, and I videotape me collecting quarters. First impressions, my guy still needs to fix that. We're going to move these to the new laundromat because they are not worth having it here at all. Give us some more seating. There's no signs of machines not working that aren't supposed to be working, and we have more machines working than we're working before, which is great because we had the good laundry mat repair guys come and fix some of these, so that's fantastic. Um, this machine is dead, not worth saving, but we've got other machines we can bring in here. And now the other laundromat is kind of up and running. I'm hoping next week we can start making this one better because last week was very disappointing sales-wise. Hopefully this week is better. We'll see what's in these machines. I think it will be better because I peeked at them earlier this week, but we'll see. So that's what's going on. I also talked to the laundromat repair guys, the good ones, about our car wash to see, hey, do you have any opinions about that? Because I've talked about in previous videos. We've got a two-bay car wash out back, which is pretty crappy, pretty old, and it keeps breaking. It's broken right now. And I told them, hey, I'm thinking about just getting rid of all this stuff. And do you think it'd make any sense to expand the laundromat back here? And he said, nope, don't do that. You have this weird back room. It won't make sense. Um, if you're going to add more machines, you've still got some room out front to add some more machines there. Do that. And then he also said, I've got a lot of customers who have laundromats and car washes. They all say their car washes make more money, which is crazy to me because I don't know if they're factoring in all the time it takes to fix an, a car wash because everyone I've talked to, every car wash I've seen for sale, they're working on them constantly. Some of them literally have a full-time repair person on them. So I'm still thinking about that. So it'll take at least a couple thousand dollars to get this up and running. And so far it brings in from like 40 to $80 a week which is not very much, but if it was working and set up right, maybe it would bring in more money. I don't know. That's something I still want to think about. I'm not making any rash decisions, but we'll open these machines up, see what money's in them, and hopefully it's a decent week. All right, so we're starting with the drivers first, like we normally do. This is our big one that we got working again. And um, so the plan is to take probably both of these out and put in, I've got some other Speed Queen dryers, stackables, that I bought from the Funk Lounge Mat in Louisville. And the plan, not normal, <laughs> is to uh, take those out, these guys out, and then put more stackables in. And these are huge machines, they heat up really fast, almost too hot, they can actually burn clothes actually. And they're a million years old. And the laundromat repair guy is like, yeah, get those out. But he said, if I install those new speed queens, this has only been working for a little while, so that's expected. Um, I want to take one of these fronts and put it in my shop as a display. So that was kind of cool. And um, we were able to fix a bunch of the other speed queens at my other laundromat with parts from the ones I got from Louisville too, but I still have two really good ones. Hey, that's... That's a decent amount right there. That was pretty heavy, so that's a good sign. So that was a good sign. Probably more than last week, but that's not bad, not as many. many. The washers, we'll see what's in the washers. And so the repair guys fixed these two machines. The first old laundromat repair guys I had, who I've talked about many times, said they fixed them. And of course, like the next time people used them, they weren't working. And um, the good guys came in there, looked at them and said, there was definitely things wrong with them. Um, there was no way they had fixed or repaired them or checked. Ooh. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that, that's not good at all. They told me to get rid of this one anyway, so now we'll put 
out of order sign on that. And uh, we don't need to use that one anymore. That one's pretty junky. Like I said, hopefully next week we'll start making this place even better. And I know it's a little bit, that's not a ton. It's not the nicest one to match. But it's still way nicer than it was when I got it. And we're slowly improving. Uh, it's okay. That's better than last week, but it could always be a lot better than that. That's annoying. Stuff is always breaking. And of course, I mean, that one is 100 years old, so that's not too surprising. And then we'll look at the horizons. One of these horizons, of course, was broken again, and the good laundromat guys said it's a very minor issue. They fixed it. And they also had lots of good suggestions for me, too. Like painting this the same color as the rest, and just, um, eh. That's okay, but like I said, that one was kind of broken for a while, too, until they fixed it. Oh, what? Pink or black? What? Why is that there? What does that mean? That's weird. <laughs> so definitely better than last week. I don't think we're breaking records, but those are okay coin boxes for this place. So the new laundromat guys also suggested, so these are the new washers over here. These are dryers. No, 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 no. This is dryer, old washer, new washer. Um, the old guys suggested getting some, not the old guys, the new guys, the good guys, suggested getting some soft mount, four pound washers, bigger capacity, and that would bring more people in too. So, I'll have to be on the lookout for those. And, and the new guys, the good guys, actually, uh, sell machines new. They're reps for like all the companies, but they're really cool. It's like, I can tell you to buy new. You shouldn't buy new for here. You should buy used. It'll save you a ton of money. You don't need new. So that was good to hear as well. All right, let's check our cash machine. Where's my key? Dryers. Washers. I know I had it. So this will give us an idea of how we did this week. It won't be 100%, but just seeing how much cash is in this machine lets us know how many quarters were exchanged. Not all those quarters are used here, but a lot of them are. And it will give us an idea hey, of how we did. So we already took money out once. And, well, a, ooh, that's, that's a good sign right there, actually. And we do need to fill that up again, too. So, okay, definitely did better than last week. Not that that's saying a ton, but 20s in there, or it's just deceptive. No, there's some more 20s, okay. Now we'll check the pop machine. Like I said, these are gonna go bye-bye. And go to the other laundromat, because they just take up space here. It was an interesting experiment that did not work. Um, these literally make like $5 a week. They don't even make that much. They make like $2 a week after our costs. Maybe, because that's not even counting electrical and stuff. Oh, it actually did better than it has been doing. We still don't need to refill anything yet. 
Well, we might be getting close. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we might need more root beer, more Mountain Dew. We'll see if we've got that. If not, I'll have to bring it next time. Look at that. It's like exactly how you want your quarters to fall into your machine. It makes perfect sense, don't worry. That might be a record for the pop machine. That's amazing. By record, I mean like seven dollars. <laughs> uh, then we'll check the vending. This was broken last week, as many of you remember. And I fixed it because I am a repairman of sorts. So, and I know it was working because the repair guy used it. Oh, hey! Wow! That might be a record too. Okay. Whoa! So that's, on the right side is vending machine money. Wow. Of course, that could be two weeks worth. We had some jam up and some money go into there from last week, but that's great. But we, I mean, we don't really need to refill anything. Or do we, we had some kind of chips there. We'll have to see what chips were missing and refill that, okay. People said this would be a bad investment. Little did they know I'd make $6 a week on the vending machine. This is probably the most depressing one right here is opening up the soap dispenser. Again, I have a new soap dispenser that we'll put in here someday. I'm not even gonna open that up. It's such a pain, I hate it. You gotta unscrew the whole coin mechanism to get to the change in there. And it's not empty enough that uh, we need to refill it yet. Oh, it's getting close. Next week we'll have a new one. All right. Not bad. We'll get that all counted up. We'll see what we have. Maybe we'll go check the vacuum out there too. So I closed the lid to this and it says it's doing something. I don't know. We'll see if it finishes the cycle and drains or if it's just what's going on. So it ran through its cycle. Hey, it's good. It's fine. That was really weird. I've cleaned this so many times. This is the one people use for like the really dirty laundry. So it just gets caked with mud, but it works. So that's good news. I fixed another appliance. So we're gonna check and see how much we actually have this week. I am positive it's more than last week, but that's easy to do. So starting off with uh, the vacuum, 21. I I don't know what to do about the car wash and vacuum. If you have ideas, let me know. I'm just at a standstill on that. Here's the vending. So this was actually a pleasant surprise. Again, I mean, it's not like it's worth it, but still, so it's much more than normal. And you see all that money flying out the side? That's because people actually paid with nickels and dimes too, not just quarters, and my machine throws out any um, non-quarters. So I had 101 plus 30, 40 cents. Had to check and make sure it wasn't too old. Old nickels are not silver, by the way. Dimes and quarters are silvers. Nickels are nickels. <laughs> I might have made that mistake before. There's the pop machine, which I was really excited. It really wasn't that much. $5.50. We've had that much before, which is weird. I don't know how it ended up with five fifty because you're supposed to pay a dollar for a pop. There might be quarters under the machine or somewhere. Here is the more exciting part, the dryer money. I don't know what my life would be like without struggling with the coin counter. That's just part of me now. There were two quarters that spit out because they're old or mutilated. So that wasn't bad. That was almost $100. 
So, this is the new washer. No, old washer. Old washer, buddy. Last week was horrible. We only had $109 from the washer's total. So that's like $82 right there just from the old one. So we're already looking much better. was way 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 better than before so here is what we've got no no this is not correct here is the correct chart sorry that was the new laundromat chart and um we did that video just recently as well if you want to see more quarters being counted the new laundromat is much bigger much nicer making more money than this laundromat right off the bat so this laundromat has a lot of limitations and we'll continue to mess with it for a while and see how it goes. But this is a sales chart from the very beginning in June when I first bought it. It was horrible. Half the machines didn't work. It was very ugly. Now slightly less ugly now. Has slightly more machines working and we're trying to work on that still. And you can see we did much better for a while. And then um, the car wash broke. Um, some more of our dryers broke. The old guys couldn't fix anything. And that really hurts you. But this week was better. Still not up to where we were. But I feel like with the dryers, it's real tricky when you only have four working dryers. Now we have seven working dryers. That should make it much better. I'm going to be on the lookout for some more machines. I don't know when I'll be able to get those or how much they'll cost. And that's something to consider too is if I have to spend a few thousand dollars or more on just one machine or two machines, is that going to bring in enough money to make it justifiable? Maybe. If it brings in a lot of different people, maybe. Um, but those are things to think about. Now, if you spend that money on the machine, you're also making the business more valuable. If you bring in more revenue, you're making the, it more valuable too. So if I ever decide to sell the business, it would make it easier to sell and it would sell for more money too. So it's not like you're just throwing that money away if you don't bring in enough from it. But there's a lot of things to consider. So we'll keep doing this. We'll keep seeing how it goes. We're not using the old laundromat guys anymore, that's for sure. And we'll have more updates on this. So hopefully we'll have some new things to show you next week. We'll see. And love to hear what you think on all of this. Take care. Be back soon.